Peter Lightfoot is a uh, a uh, deacon in his church. He uh, is a person that likes to keep keep people definitely informed of what's going on down in Augusta. Um, I don't believe I've missed more than a couple of days through the 10 years that I've been down there. I'm certainly uh, en enthusiastic to get a bill, research the bill so I know exactly what the bill is all about so that I can probably uh, make a decision on what to do with it and also to work with the rest of the Senate. That would probably sum me up pretty good. I started with the town of Eddington, my hometown, uh, six years I spent on the uh, select board and found it very interesting. And uh, the state representative who represented our area became very sick and I had a call to if I would be interested in taking his place. So I ran and was elected and uh, very much enjoyed the eight years in the house. Well, the biggest thing is the number of people, you know, in the, the House, uh, it's, it's difficult in caucus to get a word in ed edgewise because there are so many different people who have, you know, important things to say. In the, ho in the Senate, unfortunately, you know, we have a small minority um, and our voices can be heard to each other. We can see about getting on the same page as each other. So. The commitment's different. Um, certainly, instead of having two or three towns to represent, I now have 12 towns, which is, you know, on, on both sides of the Penobscot River so it's uh, you know involves a lot more constituents a lot more constituent uh, issues um, and trying to uh, be part, part of their communities takes you know a lot more time Uh, you know, I did serve two years with uh, Governor Paula Page and in the last years with uh, Governor Mills. It's certainly a big difference uh, in those two folks. Uh, their philosophy is different. Um, and I, I really enjoyed uh, the LePage administration. Certainly this year, to me, was more intensified. You know, we were down to carryover bills, you know, some last minute bills that the uh, Legislative Council put in. So to me, it was a, a lot more tense in the, in the Senate than it was the year prior. From what I've seen in the House, there's been uh, a lot of confusion. Um, and that really hasn't existed in the Senate. Although, you know, we've had to wait many times for bills to come up from the House. Um, it's been a little slower process this last session of the uh, 131st. I served six years on inland fisheries and wildlife in the House. The last year in the House, I was moved to environmental and natural resource. And in the Senate, I was put back on uh, environmental and natural resource, which I very much enjoy. And I also was put on state and local. Um, the environmental part of it is so interesting in that we are dealing with, uh, right now, you know, PFOS, we're dealing with sludge, we're dealing with landfills, which are so important and limited to success in the MRI in Hamden and the perk has gone down, but we're starting to get those back and in the process in doing that and, and seeing the interest by the communities in it is, is, is very rewarding. You know, as a hobbyist, I have a hobby beekeeping uh, apiary, um, and that's very, very important, the environment to those creatures. You know, they've lived for millions of years, and we'd like to see them exist for pollination of crops. Um, our lawn care, True Green, is um, very important to the environment, uh, keeping lawns uh, either weed free or uh, because there's a lot more grass blades in a lawn than there are weeds, you can, uh, it's better for erosion control. And we service athletic fields, uh, not only in homeowners. Uh, 
The hydro seeding business is a complement to that lawn care. We do a lot of hydro seeding of home lawns, new home lawns. Uh, I see on the board we're going to Madawaska High School, University of Maine, Livermore Falls, Juniper Ridge. So um, we're, you know, statewide as we have a pilot uh, office in Gorham that my son runs. Well, certainly inflation, is, it's out of control. You know, gas prices are certainly out of control. Um, electrical prices are becoming more, a huge issue. Uh, I think that the electrical prices are suppressing new businesses from coming into the state. Um, we, we don't have, uh, I think the infrastructure is, is improving every year. I think the MDOT has been doing a great job using what money they've had available to uh, correct our roads and bridges the best they possibly can. So I think our infrastructure is good, but I, I do think with inflation and costs of doing business have really slowed growth down. People have, uh, instead of like uh, lawn carrying their whole lawn, let's just do the front lawn. Or uh, can we buy grass seed from you rather than have you come out and hydro seed it? Um, so it indicates that people are being very cautious about the dollars they have to spend, and it's, uh, especially the elderly. Definitely, uh, there's a lot to be done, especially uh, we tried to break, uh, as you know, DHH up, S up, and that failed. I think that would have been a good move. Um, <clears throat> we do have a law on the books of abortion, so we'll have to live with that at the present time. Um, certainly very disappointed in the uh, bill that uh, passed to bring young folks into the state that could have uh, uh, sex changes and send the bill on to the taxpayers and uh, I was very disappointed in that one. We seem to pass bills after bills that require money to support those bills and the only way you can get more money is through taxation and it seems we're one of the highest states in the union that, that has been taxed so uh, I wish we could uh, stop that. My greatest disappointment uh, probably has been the, the continual abortion bills that seem to be coming in and uh, my also uh, what's gone on in DHHS over the last years that I've come in, uh, the death of the children, which is unnecessary, um, those would be two. That, that probably have the biggest impact on me. I'm not a big bill person. I haven't put in a lot of bills. Um, you know, some of the bills that uh, I have put in, I, I've been very pleased to see that they would, would have passed. My greatest accomplishment, I feel, hasn't been necessarily down in Augusta. It's been in the informing the citizens of my district exactly what is going on there. Because I feel a lot of citizens don't pay a lot of attention to it because they're frustrated. So through uh, meetings, uh, through suppers that uh, organizations have, through letter writing, uh, I've tried very hard to keep them informed. Uh, of what's going on. So that would, to me, would be one of the 